What I'm going to do is click on the fuel, click on the none. I'm going to go to the stroke and I'm going to select the ellipse tool from where's the rectangle tool. I'm going to press and hold shift plus alt, create a circle. I'm going to press control C and then control F where you can go to edit paste in front. And this way it's going to paste another copy on the front, press and hold shift plus alt, scale it down somewhere here. I'm going to select both right click group. I'm going to press and hold alt drag the circle down, also press shift to isolate until they intersect here. Select both right click group. And now I'm going to select the rotate tool or you can press the letter R. There you go. I'm going to press and hold alt, click here. Where's this center anchor point? Click on it and we're going to type in 60 degrees. Click on copy and from here, press control D. I'm going to select them all, press shift plus M, or you can go and select the shape builder tool, shift plus M. Okay. So I got to combine these, these together, this and this. I also going to combine these right here. There you go. Okay. Right click on group, right click on group, right click. There you go. So let me check. This is together, which is not good. I got to delete that. And I need this little thing right here. And also I don't need this. So I'm going to need, I'm going to delete these superficial elements from here. So I'm going to need this also, this little circle and this. So I'm going to press and hold shift, click also on this shape and on this little part. I'm going to right click group. So these are it, which we're going to use and check this out. This is the center point where this is right here. I'm going to recolor this as magenta right now. And I can right click, arrange, bring to front. I'm going to select the rotate tool, press and hold alt, click on the center point. And I'm going to go with 60 degrees, click on copy, press control D until it goes round and round. And now I'm going to select the magenta, press and hold shift, highlight the magentas. And I'm going to put these here, delete the rest. This came out pretty good actually. I'm going to select them all, right click group. And we're going to try to add some shadings like how you saw in the previous example. I'm going to recolor this as black. I'm going to select the circle again. I'm going to go here to the anchor point, see if it fits there. Perfect. So this is the center point at this uh, crossing section. I'm going to press Control C, Control F, press and hold Shift plus Alt, scale it down. I'm going to select both with Shift, drag it out. There you go. I got a little bit of, so as you can see, this one thick, this one thin, because here at the transform, the scale stroke and effect is checked. So I'm going to uncheck it. I'm going to make the same stroke thickness. This is going to be like one PT. I'm going to increase this also. So this is one. I'm going to try it out with two, see what happens. Yeah, two, it's pretty good. Two, it's pretty good. I'm going to go with two here also. Um, I'm also going to try one with three or four. I'm going to go with three. I think three is better for this one. I'm going to try it out with three. Okay. Right click group. I'm going to put this right here where it was before. Okay. So I'm going to go to the object, go to the blend make. I'm going to double click on the blend tool, select specify steps, increase the number until it's going to become black. So as you can see, you know, the distance between the circle is kind of narrow. Now I'm going to increase it to seven. It gets even more narrow. Eight is like, you know, almost black. This is it. Click OK. I'm going to go to object, expand, click OK. I'm going to double click. So it's going to show up this and we're left with only these circles. I'm going to select the direct selection tool. I'm going to delete these anchor points here and the bottom ones. So we're left only with these. So this is the center point. I'm going to select the rotate tool. I'm going to press and hold alt, go to the, go to the center anchor point. And I'm going to rotate it so around here. So this is how the shading is going to be like this big. Somewhere here. And of course this can be modified, you know, however you like. I'm going to click OK. And now what I need to do is I'm going to decrease the opacity and I'm going to select the add anchor point tool. And I'm going to click here where they intersect. I'm going to add anchor points, you know, I'm going to select the letter P. I don't even need to select the add anchor point tool is it does it with the normal anchor point point tool. Also, I'm going to press the letter V select, press the letter P 
at the anchor point where they intersect. Press the letter V, select, press the letter P, add anchor point. Press the letter V, press the letter P, and so on and so forth. And now I'm going to select the direct selection tool. I'm going to select these anchor points at the top, click on delete. I'm going to increase the opacity back to 100%. I'm going to go to the stroke profile right here and select this one. Double click release and this is how it looks. I'm going to create a new copy. I'm going to select the circle. What is that? The rotate. I'm going to press and hold alt, go to the center. And I'm going to position it somewhere around like this and I click on, I'm going to click on copy. See that now we get like two times and we're going to, need to also reflect this. So I'm going to select from here the reflect tool. I'm going to, of course, with this one, I'm going to reflect it. I'm going to press and hold alt, go to the center here, path and click on vertical copy. Good. Now I'm going to select the rotate. Yeah. The rotate tool. I'm going to press and hold alt, go to the center path, click. Now look at that, it just positioned right there. I also can adjust it, modify it. I can, I think this is pretty good. I'm gonna click OK. And I still need one right here at the bottom. Same thing, rotate tool, press and hold Alt, click on the center and just position it somewhere there. It's gonna be pretty good like this. Click OK. Whoops, I, I needed to click on copy. I'm going to press and hold Alt, do it again. Arrange, I forgot to click on copy instead of OK. So don't click on OK, click on copy. And I'm going to try this out. I'm going to select all and go to object, expand. And I'm going to need to cut out. So I'm going to right click on group. I'm going to select this one, right click on group. So I'm le left with this. I'm going to create a new copy of this, press Control C, Control F, and I'm going to select these lines, press and hold Shift plus M, or you can select direct selection. What, what is that? Shape Builder tool and press and hold Alt. So as you can see from the little plus near the arrow, it's going to change to minus. See, it was plus, it's going to be minus. And I'm going to just drag it here and it this way deleted. It also deleted the copy. So now we're left with this. It starts to come together. I'm going to do the same thing with, um, let me see this one right here. I'm going to press Control C, Control F. I'm going to select this, press and hold Shift plus M, press and hold Alt, drag it like that, drag it like that. I'm also going to delete this one, small one. And I'm going to do the same thing with this. Right click on group, right click. Actually, you can see this little triangle. I'm going to select it, Control C, Control F, and swap it from field to stroke. There you go, now it's separate. I'm gonna create a new copy of this one. Control C, Control F. I'm gonna press and hold Shift, select these lines. Press Shift plus M, or you can select the what is that? Shape, shape Builder tool, press and hold Alt, and just delete these in here. I'm gonna also delete this external part. Actually, I'm gonna need to delete you know, from this also because we've got that. Press Control C, Control F, press and hold Shift, select. The lines, press and hold Shift plus M, press and hold Alt, click, click. There you go. See? Now it's perfect rounded in there. I'm gonna do the same way with this one. See if I decrease the opacity, check it out. It just goes out here. And here it's pretty good. But I also can drag this in. See? So basically we got like problem solved. Almost 100%. That's 99.999% is good. Okay, cool. So it looks something like this. I'm going to select this one, press and hold shift, select this one, all the shadings that we created. Also, this little triangle, select it, select, right click group. Good. Now we're going to go and select the rotate tool, press and hold alt, go here to the little center anchor point, click. We're going to go with 60 degrees. Click on copy, press Control D, Control D, Control D, Control D. Finally made it. So basically this is how you add some cool looking shadings. Of course, these shadings are kind of big in there, but you know, you can experiment, you know, and make them shorter, make them smaller. So yeah, basically this is it.